I'm here to talk to you about tranosamic acid. For me, tranosamic acid is the perfect hemostat. We have done trials, huge trials in trauma, CRASH-2, randomized 20,000 patients and showed that if you give tranosamic acid within three hours of injury, you will reduce mortality due to bleeding by a third. After that, we did a trial in postpartum hemorrhage across the world and looked at 20,000 women with postpartum hemorrhage. We got the same signal, a reduction in deaths, by bleeding deaths by about a third. So this is extraordinary data because we don't have any other drugs to use in patients that are bleeding. But it's much more than that. Tranosamic acid is safe. Of course, everybody wants to know about thrombotic risk. I can reassure you, those trials and all the other patients entered into multiple randomized trials in surgery have shown no increased rates of thrombosis. There's nearly a million patients studied in trials to do with tranosamic acid. So this is a drug reducing bleeding with no thrombotic risk. What is the dose? you need to give somewhere between one to two grams. It's a competitive inhibitor of plasminogen and there will be a plateau effect. Once you get above two grams, you will find that there's no increased efficacy, but there is a potential for harm because tranosamic acid is actually synthetic lysine and it'll interfere with neurotransmission in the brain and there's an increased risk of neurological events. At the dose recommended, one to two grams, everything is fine. Of course, it doesn't stop there. If you use it in surgery, in preventing bleeding, it will reduce bleeding by about a third and it will affect mortality. And in the UK, uh, organization NICE have demanded that we use it in any surgery where we're expecting blood loss greater than 500 mils. So you can use it to prevent bleeding in surgery. Where are we going with it? Well, the orthopedic surgeons are spraying it on. It gives such a good effect, or, or about the same reduction in bleeding as giving it intravenously. And the current is, interest is trials in nosebleeds. No more will people need to have their noses packed if they bleed, but they can have tranosamic acid. And lastly, it's very important to recognize if you have somebody bleeding on an anticoagulant, tranosamic acid will help you. Of course, you need to give the normal antagonist, but tranosamic acid will help you reduce blood loss.